I myself used to follow that interpretation 20 years ago. Frankly, it was what I was taught by my own teachers, and I love and respect them. But the fact of the matter is that there are other opinions. And these opinions have existed in the past, and they exist today. And throughout the course of my own studies and my interactions with other groups, I have changed and modified. Many of my critics say, I have watered down. I respond, that's your perspective. I have wisened up in my opinion. And my perspective is wisened up, not watered down. And what I state, and I don't like to mention this fact, but it must be said. Yes, I am a minor student of knowledge, but in the end of the day, I have been studying this religion full time for almost three decades. And I have, alhamdulillah, bachelors, two masters, a PhD. From the University of Medina, I have a masters in Aqidah, and I was the top of my class. And I don't like to flout this, but it needs to be said. I have the right to hold this opinion, and this khutbah is not the time or place to defend it. What is the opinion that I am raising up to and making so difficult to understand? Wallahi, it is an opinion that our elderly people understand without having studied the faith. And what is that opinion? It is as follows. That every single Muslim who desires to worship Allah and loves the sunnah of the messenger of Allah, that's his goal, that's his desire. Every Muslim who believes in the six arkan that is mentioned in the hadith of Jibreel, every Muslim who wants to live an Islamic lifestyle based upon the five pillars of Islam, that person is your brother in faith. That person is your sister in faith. And all the differences that happen after that, they are not to the level of those differences that happen before this point in time. This includes differences of different legal schools. And yes, it also includes differences within mainstream uh, theological aspects as well. I'll give you some examples today as well. Mainstream Islam is what orthodoxy is, simple as that. To take this mainstream Islam and then make it much more narrower, only my sheikh, only my madrasa, only my group of ulama, they are correctly guided. And everybody else is misguided. Everybody else is going to Jahannam. This is a level of fanaticism that has caused too much damage in the ummah. Dear Muslim, the basics of Islam are mentioned in the hadith of Jibreel. This is the basics of Islam. The basics of theology are mentioned in this hadith. The basics of the arkan are mentioned. The basics of spirituality are mentioned. This is your rubric. This is your framework. Anyone who disagrees after this, wanting to come close to Allah based upon the sunnah of the messenger of Allah, cannot be treated the same as somebody who doesn't agree with following the sunnah. Somebody who has other sources of Islam, other sources of theology. Does this mean all opinions are the same? I never said this. But let me ask you this. Must your wife or your best friend or your brother agree with every single analysis and opinion that you have? Then the world wouldn't function. The world would not function if you only interacted with somebody who agrees with 100% of how you view the world. Husbands and wives who love each other disagree about aspects of the dunya. Is that not the case? Brothers who are close, friends, they disagree about analyzing, they disagree about the reality. You look at the good, and if it's a small amount of misunderstanding, you overlook it. What I am arguing for is the same. Mainstream, generic orthodoxy is not based upon a narrow sectarian frame of mind. It's not based upon one madrasa, one sheikh, one alim. No, it is based upon the hadith of Jibreel. Whoever acknowledges the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, anything after this, we discuss like a family. I'm not saying they're right. I have my own choices and I will disagree with some other choices. But disagreements from within are very different than disagreements from without. How you disagree with a loved one, with your child, with a cousin is not the same as how you will disagree with an enemy.